you would nurture them, you would coddle them, you would give them loving thoughts, praise, these sorts of things. So do that for yourself. Don't get stuck in negativity. Just because something happened once, just because something happens again and again, you're going to start to realize that as it happens again and again, it's because you weren't able to just let it go. So you're just constantly inviting this chaos. Car Conversations, episode one. So I was just thinking of something that I really wanted to share with you guys. And I really think it, I always like to kind of pull apart very cliche things and very abstract concepts, right? I like to really call it deconstruct them, reconstruct them accordingly. So we want to make sure that we're always avoiding getting stuck in someone's negativity, right? Like this person may have cut me off in the past, right? But I'm not going to dwell on that if I see that person again, if I see that car again. But every time I see it now, I'm going to be ready for him to cut me off. I'm going to be using disparaging remarks, you know, this a-hole or this idiot. Oh, here comes this person. I'm putting all this negativity. I'm taking away all of this positive energy from my person and I'm letting this person kind of, kind of uh, spoil, spoil my soul in a way or by allowing myself to be influenced by their presence or their or that negativity. So just move on. Oh, I almost spoke negatively about this. It's done. It was in the past. Right now, right here, right now, it's not happening. Moving forward, we can't control what happens. So I'm letting it go. And I'm freeing up all of that negative space. Don't get stuck in negativity. Just because something happened once, just because something happens again and again, you're going to start to realize that as it happens again and again, it's because you weren't able to just let it go one of the first times or the second time or the third time. So you're just constantly inviting this chaos every time you, you, you entertain a negative thought pattern. So let it go. Picture yourself like your, your, your best friend, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Picture yourself, whomever. Or your, or your child, right? Picture yourself like that type of person and then just nurture that person. Give so many, you wouldn't just come out, you know, just come out of your character and just start, you know, bashing your friend or, you know, your, or your child, right? You would nurture them. You would coddle them. You would give them loving thoughts, praise, these sorts of things. So do that for yourself. Like if that's, if that's how you have to look at it, just imagine yourself as your responsibility, as you have to save yourself from this negativity that's been there so long. And now you've, you've gotten these new ideas. You've gotten these new concepts. You understand life differently now. So now it's time to, to kind of, you know, put yourself, coddle yourself, you know, comfort yourself and then rescue yourself from all of this negativity. Even if you have to do that, people say they talk to themselves, you know, people talk to themselves all the time. Even if you have to talk to yourself like a friend, like, and just imagine yourself pulling yourself out of this negative, just, just stew, this, this negative crap that you've been stuck in so long, this stress, this anxiety, this overwhelm, right? It's toxic, man. It's toxic. You want to be stuck in that euphoric, like, even if you have to be like, everything is great. So recognize that you're taking yourself out of it and you're using that as a tool. Don't use it sarcastically and then just let it go. Like, oh yeah, things are great. Wow. Right? No. But then immediately say, all right, that was sarcasm. Things are great. I'm, you know, I was in traffic. I was very stressful. Now I'm moving along. Now things are happening. I'm about to go, you know, into this social situation where, you know, people aren't as adept as me and people aren't as clear minded as me and people aren't as positive as me, but I'm not going to let that affect me because I have a responsibility to myself to not be bogged down by their negativity, to not, to not entertain any negative thoughts. 
to constantly fill my cup with positivity, to constantly fill my soul with positivity, to constantly stop myself from getting caught in negative patterns and refill my soul. So please, I know this has been a long video and I'm thank God if you stayed till the end. I really want this to be a huge part of of my message and my mission to get people out of the negative stuff, to get out of the negative swamp that their souls and their, their, their beings have been in for so long. It's so easy to go negative. It's so easy to turn the TV on and see all this doom and all these people that are just pissed off and letting everybody know about it, right? And then you get caught up in it. Yeah, I'm pissed off too. F this person and F this thing and F this. No. <laughs> no, get out of that. Get out of that negativity. Get into something positive. Even if you have to put on YouTube and just replay positive messages, replay this video. Replay positive messages, messages of positivity, messages of mindset shifts, growth mindset, all the above. Mindset shifts. That's what you want to look for. Ways to shift your mindset. You know, all the junk TV, all the, the tabloid stuff, all those videos you see on Instagram, just get rid of it. Just get rid of all those people that are just, you know, just make their money or make their attention off of, you know, just the constant stress and constant chaos. Cut it off. Let's, let's re-roll this world into a positive you know, frenzy. Let's let's have a frenzy of positivity. Let's have a chaos of positivity. I know it sounds corny and, you know, whatever, but let's try that. We've tried everything else. We've mired ourselves. We've bogged ourselves down in this chaos and, and, and separation and, bit, and turmoil. Like, why not just try and just be like stupidly positive about anything and everything? Anyway, this is going on long enough. I will come back with more amazing advice if I do say so myself and that's not being narcissistic that's not being cocky it's being confident it's being confident in my positivity and my my mission to spread more joy and spread more positivity and spread more tips and tricks on how to keep it going so thank you for following along this far if you could throw up that uh that high five emoji if you've made it this far in the comments throw up a heart throw up a you know a quick emoji that you identify as positive all right thank you so much spread the good word spread the good vibes be on that good vibes grind and you can do it all right